New tonight, one of only two Republican state senators who voted to convict Attorney General Ken Paxton at his impeachment trial is speaking out. Senator Robert Nichols releasing this statement saying he voted based on credible testimony and thousands of pages of evidence. He also says he swore in an oath to render a true verdict and that he has and always will vote for what he believes is right. Ken Paxton was acquitted of all charges. I talked with Paxton's attorney, Tony Busby, today, who says that is proof prosecutors failed to prove anything. Tony, you said even before the trial, you were boldly proclaiming Kim Paxton would not be convicted. You hadn't heard a witness. You hadn't seen any evidence. Why were you so certain? Because there had been no witnesses ever put under oath, because the documents that they had provided to us that we had seen were not evidence. And just as I anticipated, when they actually brought a witness to court, the witnesses crumbled. They, they admitted they had no evidence. Was this a case about the evidence or was it about politics? It was about a lack of evidence. I mean, I, let's be clear what happened. There were a lot of charges made, a lot of allegations made. I'll give you an example. If anybody watched Drew Wicker's testimony, he was the individual that, that claimed that Ken Paxton's kitchen was renovated and that a developer paid for it. He was convinced on the stand that he had made those allegations and had no evidence to support it. And that was, I think, indicative of the entire case is that we spent three months hearing about Ken Paxton and, and all the bad things he had done in, in the press. But when push came to shove, as it should be in any court, uh, when the witnesses showed up and they were cross-examined, uh, we realized that they didn't have a case. Why did the alleged mistress, Laura Olson, come to the Senate and then decide not, she was, said she was gonna take the fifth? Uh, that's something you'd have to ask her. All I can tell you is that she was declared unavailable. And uh, there was already evidence in the record about a job application. There was evidence in the record about a job, that she was still doing work, that she was getting paid, that she paid for her own apartment. All that stuff was in the record already. And they had pretty much given up on, on that point of view. Uh, now, as far as why she didn't testify and, and why she chose to plead the Fifth Amendment, that's something you would have to ask her. I don't have any idea about that. What was your cost for defending Ken Paxton? I haven't even calculated my cost at this moment in time. I haven't put together a bill. I've been focused on other things, as you might expect. Who is paying your bill? I expect Ken Paxton will pay my bill. That was my client. Busby will now focus on campaigning. Uh, he is running against incumbent Mary Nan Huffman for Houston City Council in District G. You told me the evidence against Ken Paxson was as strong as horseradish, yet not one conviction. What happened? Uh, the Republican senators turned chicken, except for two of them. Um, they, they voted uh, their best interest rather than their conscience. You don't think the senators missed the evidence. You think they ignored the evidence. I think they, the, the Republican senators that voted against impeachment ignored the evidence and voted in spite of the evidence. You've been in Texas all your life. Why, why are you surprised that it could have been political? Well, uh, like I said, I'm, I guess I'm even at the age of 82, I'm still naive enough to believe that uh, right will prevail. Uh, we were right. The House Republicans that voted overwhelmingly to impeach him were right. Uh, and they voted their conscience, not uh, their careers. What are the whistleblowers saying to this verdict? The really brave people were the whistleblowers. They uh, went to the FBI with the evidence that they had, knowing that it meant an end to their careers. And it did for all of them. Uh, but they're standing tall, they're holding their heads up uh, because they knew they did the right thing. If you had to do it again, would you do it again? I'd do it all over again and I don't think there's anything we would have done different.